if there's ever going to be an opportunity to raise the gas tax, a time when uh, gas prices are so low, oil prices are so low, is the time to do it. Well, leave it to lawmakers to ruin a good thing. Just as we're getting used to this break at the pump, a growing number of Democrats and a number of Republicans, I might point out, are fueling call for a hike of the gas tax to former Shell oil guy John Huffmeister, who says, well, ain't that a kick in the gas. Uh, I don't know. It's building. The momentum for it is building. The argument being that we're due. It's been 20 years since the gas tax was last hiked, and now we're out of money for roads and bridges, so we got to do it. What do you make of that? Well, I think any American with a brain and a conscience knows that a gas tax is extremely unpopular among Americans, wide, widely spread, because it is punching people right in the gut. Every time you buy a gallon of gasoline, you're paying the government more money. That's a lot of money over a long period of time. And so Americans have revolted against this notion of a gas tax. And for a politician to say that because the price is low, now's the time to do it, that's an underhanded, manipulative, and cynical move, Neil, that I think Americans should just raise up in protest and say, no way. No way. Who runs this country? The people or the politicians? But John, the one thing there that's are a, many ways. Even if you argue, there are that, many ways to tax. Right, but our roads and bridges. If you argue they're in need of repair, and many many will look around and say they are. Then I want to know what have you done with the hundred billion you get each year, off of taxes the way they are now, tolls and fees the way they are now, excise taxes in virtually all the states, the way they are now. If you can convince me that you have exhausted that hundred billion on roads and bridges and, and, and paint and all of that for the roads and bridges, fine. But no, no one is giving no me question. an adequate accounting of that money. So why should I give yeah. you more? That, that's exactly right. And I think that's where Americans are just saying, we've been taxed enough already. Isn't that the name of the Tea Party? I'm not a Tea Partier, but taxed enough already is certainly a, a strong statement in this country. Now, there's no question but, but the infrastructure needs help. But in the same way, that our politicians have failed to deliver an energy policy over decades. They've also failed to keep up with the infrastructure. What do they do all day, Neil? There are many ways to tax. There are many ways to spend. I think we have a complete dysfunction of both because America's fallen apart. It's the oldest democracy, and we've got the oldest infrastructure because this generation of politicians will not get in a room they will not discuss their differences, and that starts with the president, and I'll talk Bush or I'll talk Obama. I don't care. But the president has got to get in the room with elected officials, horse trade to do what the country needs. Well, that's needs. why I think we're going to get it. That's why I think we're going to see a gas tax, much to your chagrin, to a lot of people's chagrin, because I think it's going to be part of a, a bigger deal, let's say, on tax reform. John Thune is in it at that, a powerful Republican. Orrin Hatch is in it at that, another powerful Republican. So I think it's going to be part of a horse trading. Well, it'll be a sad day if it is, because I think there are so, other, so many other ways to raise taxes on people. And in addition, let's not forget, a gas tax is a regressive tax. The poorest who have to pay the same price as the richest get hurt the most. And, and I think if that's what our politicians stand for, then we need another election. John, good seeing you again. John Hoffmeister. Meanwhile, what do the wives of the two gunmen know? What have I told you?